I first met Vince uh, 10 years ago when we were roommates during our freshman year at Canisius. I know, 10 years. Right away I knew two things about Vince. He was so thoughtful and he was really close with his family. On our first day of move-in, Vince's whole family came, even his younger sisters. Vince decorated his whole half of the room with photos of his family. I decorated my half of the room with empty Mountain Dew bottles. <laughs> We started to bond over applying to medical and PA school, and what started as a work friendship quickly extended outside of that. Once we settled into our new cities and schools, we would FaceTime to check in with each other. During one of our early FaceTimes, Jess mentioned a boy and told me that she explicitly told him not to ask her out because she was there to focus on school. Five years later, that boy is now her husband. <laughs> I had heard about Vince over the years, how happy he made her, how welcoming his family was, and most importantly, how I shouldn't worry because Jessica would score higher on her step exams. <laughs> Jess, I'm so grateful that you saw in Vince the same qualities that I do and feel so comfortable knowing he's going to be left in good hands. You're smart, you're kind, you've managed to keep him out of swim trunks tonight, which is a success. <laughs> but above all, you've made him become a better man and you've helped him achieve his dreams. So I'm so grateful. From the moment we met Vincent, we knew he was the perfect fit for Jessica. His kindness, his caring, his unwavering support for Jessica has impressed us deeply. The moment Jessica was born, I've watched her grow and mature into a remarkable person. She's always been a great source of pride in my life, and today is certainly no exception. Every bit of what Mom described. It is really the honor of a lifetime to be your best man and to be a part of the ceremony and to have known you for over a decade already. I'm so honored to have been fortunate enough to be randomly assigned to be your roommate and to end up with a lifelong best friend. So, I love you, buddy. Give me a job. <laughs> oh, I love you. Vince, there is no person in the world that is a better match for Jess. I know that she will be so loved and so cared for as your wife. I've had the privilege of having you both as incredibly close friends for many years now. Honey, I just want to call. You like it? I love it. Yeah. I'm crying already. <laughs> love is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment. It's not even this moment. It's every moment. The big ones like saying I love you, moving in together, getting engaged, and adopting a puppy. But most importantly, love is the million little moments that come in between. And though this experience is so incredible, words fail us when we try to explain it. That's just the way love is. It's meant to be felt, not described. Despite this, we still use words to write stories, poems, and songs about love. And even though we describe love in different ways, and even though it can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it. And we see it here today. Jessica, after receiving your stern warning to never ask you out, here we are. 1,911 days later. I'm so glad you've changed your mind. I love you more and more every day. Thank you for traveling the world with me. I can't wait for adventures we have in store. Vincent, everyone who knows you loves you. You're charismatic, intelligent, handsome, and incredibly compassionate. Over the last five years, I've come to discover that these adjectives do not begin to give justice to how truly amazing you are. I can honestly say that my life is better because you are in it. You have shown me how to enjoy the process, <laughs> to appreciate the now, and to believe that everything will work out. 
the way that it was meant to be. Do you, Vincent, take Jessica to be your lawfully wedded wife? To live together in matrimony? To love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health? I do. <laughs> do you, Jessica, take Vincent to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. For the rest of my time, I promise to be your partner, to support you in reaching your goals, to be your sous chef, to cheer on the bills, <laughs> to explore and travel with you, and to love you endlessly. One of the greatest blessings you've given me is that all of these promises feel more like privileges than promises. I'm the luckiest man to have the privilege of cherishing you for the rest of my life. Together, we have navigated choosing our specialties, couples matching, adopting best bus, tra traveling, moving, and starting residency. Throughout this time, you have shown me nothing but kindness, patience, selflessness, and unwavering commitment. Jessica, I give you this ring. Jessica, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love with the pledge, as a symbol of my love with this pledge, to love you today, tomorrow, always and forever. To love you today, tomorrow, always and forever. Before these witnesses, you have pledged to be joined in marriage. You have now sealed this pledge with your wedding rings. By the authority vested in me, by the great state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Vince, you may kiss your bride. Jessica Lorraine Silvestri. I can't wait any longer to call the woman of my dreams, my confidant, my forever couples match partner, and my best friend, my wife. I love you. Jess and Vince, I could not be more excited to celebrate you two today. You're an incredible couple, and I can't wait to see the beautiful life that you built together. To the most beautiful couple on Long Island tonight, <laughs> Wishing you both a lifetime of good health, happiness, and fortune. Do this. Ready? Vincent and Harry Barnes, the third. You are the love of my life, my best friend, and I'm so proud to call you my husband. You gotta know how much I want you.